Hey folks, it's Speedy Stevie Video Time again. Want to drive on a road with no speed limit? Then go to the Isle of Man and drive the famous TT course, in particular the mountain road. Here's a video from Ford all about driving on Europe's greatest driving roads. It features the Ford Mustang Bullet driving the famous Isle of Man TT mountain road. Enjoy. Please watch this video right to the end and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated and if you click the bell you'll get to know as soon as new videos are published, almost daily. It doesn't matter how many times you watch films about the legendary Isle of Man TT course, because until you come here and drive it for yourself, you'll never fully understand just how incredible it is. And the most incredible section of all around the 37.73 mile TT mountain course is the mountain road itself, which starts at the hairpin on the outskirts of the town of Ramsey, then spears its way up and across the Snaefell Mountains and eventually drops down again back into the town of Douglas. How they do what they do on the bikes down this road, I just don't know. Because in this car, the bullet, it feels fantastically fast. It's amazing, this road, it really is. Because it's the highest point on the island, you often get four seasons, not just in one day, but on one 12 mile section of road up on the mountain. The mountain road starts at the famous hairpin at Ramsey. And once you get through here, up past Waterworks and through the Gooseneck, up towards Joey's, the mountain road gets properly into its stride. And at this point, it becomes outrageously quick and stays this way for the next eight or nine miles. But my word, when you look at the corner signs, the corner names flying towards you, Halewoods, Veranda, Hillbury, Bungalow, <sighs> You can almost sense the history, but also the sheer terror of the mountain road as you fly through these legendary twists and peaks, many of which are blind, and all of which are crazy fast. But the great thing is, it's open to the public 365 days a year. And on every single one of those days, there's no speed limit. That's bonkers. our film, we got the mountain road fully closed to the public, just to keep things as safe as possible. But even then, the challenge it offers is seriously full on, especially in a car as brutal and powerful as the new Bullet Mustang. Sometimes you just feel like you've hit the nail right on the head, coming to the perfect road to suit a car. And I think this road suits the bullet like no other because it's got this deeply old school, slightly terrifying vibe to it, the mountain road. It's just either fast, really fast or utterly insane. There's a tangible sense of relief that washes through you when you pass the pub at Cregney Bay and realise that the mountain road is almost over and that you are still here in one piece. Although having said that, the run down into Douglas itself over the next couple of miles is not for the faint-hearted, just like the rest of this extraordinary road racing circuit. The whole way round, it is massively intense, but never more so than up on the mountain road, which is the place where legends like the late great Joey Dunlop were made. Dunlop being almost certainly the outright governor of the TT. Well, I 
I can really say is come here for yourself and experience it because genuinely there is no other road like the mountain road anywhere on planet Earth. The Isle of Man is not difficult to reach either. Car ferries from Liverpool take less than three hours and cost less than £300. And once you're there, there are scores of great hotels and restaurants right across the island, many of which are in the capital of Douglas itself. But it's the roads, ultimately, that define the Isle of Man. And the mountain road is the best of them all. Thanks to everyone at the Isle of Man Highways Department and at Ramsey Town Council for all their help in making this film. We couldn't have done it without you. That's it for another Speedy Stevie video. Subscribe now.